Hi, Scorpio. I hope that you are doing fabulous. Thanks for joining for your Aquarian season reading. So if you are returning, welcome back. And those of you who are uh, brand new, listen, my channel is very intense and uh, I do feel the spirit in a very intense way. Um, I'm not churchy or religious. I've had an awakening. I'm just very spiritual spiritual <laughs> and so are you obviously or you wouldn't be here I'm just myself I get on my channel any way and I don't feel like I have anything to prove just to be myself and so just hopefully like you are being in the earth um, I do use living language in scripture in, in my readings because it's found in the tarot so if you didn't know that there's a couple of videos down below if you want to check that out um, what else I guess that's it Welcome if you stay, and if you don't, I guess this is where you'll click off. Okay, my name is Shannon, and it's nice to have you. So let's get started here, guys. Let's see what's happening here. All right, let's start with this other deck here. You hold the Elohim, maker of heaven and earth, my Yeshua, my salvation. I thank you for clear, defined messages for the sign of Scorpio. You hope it just rebuke and bind and block every foul, demonic, wicked, dark energy. I'm feeling a strange, strange energy with you all. I just did a Libra reading, and oh my gosh, I look horrible in that reading. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, my camera was, anyway. Um, that reading was over the top. These, these energies that are coming out for the Aquarian season are over the top, people. There will be justice for some things. There just will be. There has to be. Jehovah, show me energies, please, for Scorpio. Yeah, I'm feeling really strange with you all. Like, I'm having a hard time speaking. I'm feeling, like, dumbfounded in some type of energy. Um, the Queen of Wands is here. Well, the Queen of Wands, she showed up in, um, I think it was the Aries reading. There were two Queens of Wands there. Okay, she also showed up in the Pisces reading as well. Uh, somebody's very confident. If they're in their upright, they're very confident. They uh, they will get up. They'll take action. Either way, this energy will fight. Okay? Either way. And the upright wins. The, the wicked nasties don't win. Okay? They don't have any chance if they're not in the upright. But they'll but they'll try. And they'll just they'll end up just blowing everything up. This hot head in the negative. Um, this somebody who's very warm and intelligent and spiritual and lovely and uh, just just get up and just they'll just blaze man um, if this is the other woman then it's the other woman for some of you all there's a lot of people involved in stuff this could be you this could be your mother this could be just any kind of really uh, uh, you know beautiful feminine in your life as well uh, all the fire represent and everybody has fire in the chart um, it could be a fire sign don't have to be but all the fire in the in the deck represents somebody who is beautiful or something like that but they're they're very passionate um if this is i'm really having a hard time speaking with you all it's like really strange um it really is strange energy don't know how to explain it to you um but there, there, there's some, if there's a hothead here and somebody just spreads their legs just to get what they want, even even in war, then that's what's coming through my spirit here, whatever this is. This also could be somebody just up in the public eye as well, and they're very charismatic, and, uh, and that's just beautiful energy for you if it's in the upright. We'll see what comes out here. I mean, the energies have just been over the top, people. Show me energies for Scorpio. me energies for Scorpio. The stubbornness here. Show me energies for Scorpio. If somebody has just been, you know, holding some stuff down, I guess, so the seven of swords. Somebody's guilty of something. Somebody's a lying sack of crap, and they're guilty and all of that because it's really been coming out in these readings. So the seven of swords is a babbling fool who's lied and cheated and done something or stole something, or this queen of wands uh, is you or around you or has done something to you or you done that to that person. If you are new, I hit energies both ways, only you know what your character is. We have a renewal energy here, which is the judgment. It's the letter R as well. And something was buried in the ground and tried to be, you know, held down. It ain't going to be. It's something's just like, ba -ba -ba -ba, that you're, something's coming up 
And so you deal with this lie or this guiltiness or where this passion is with this queen or this you or this confidence in something that needs to be renewed or something about a death or money or secret sex or some property stuff and it ain't gonna it, it ain't gonna heal uh we got another person coming out here again there's just a lot of people involved in some stuff for some of you all this is the, this is about being loyal with the knight of pentacles it's also something that's happened that's finally arriving that's been going on and happening for a long time now in the libra reading and we got air here Back in the day and a long time ago was the wording that came out, but there was child sacrificing and there was judgment. And your energy will go back in the negative of spirituality. If this is an occultist here, then it is. Uh, this is somebody who is deceiving and is trying to hide something. There's been a death around something, then something's happened way back in the day and a long time ago. Somebody got caught up in something, don't you know? And now something about that is arriving here. Something about being loyal for some of you all. Uh, and honorable and kind is also here and if somebody's doing something if you're in the law and you're protecting somebody because of some type of stupid energy and something's just very passionate for you then it is uh, i'm going to try to hit these energies as many ways as i can there are a lot of uh, money uh issues going on somebody's been segregated for some of you all the nine of pentacles is somebody also is possibly going to be single or maybe they became single uh this is a lower version of the empress this is also some but these cards go back to somebody beautiful maybe in your eyes um i'm not sure this is uh somebody who's just enjoying lots of luxuries as well it's for some people it's on the cost of somebody else because somebody's been stolen from really bad and they're guilty of jail um there's a commitment showing itself here that's arriving for some people so if you're just looking at somebody and you because somebody does have feelings for somebody but somebody's also got an ex that's a cuckoo crazy and has done something and you hold it brought out in the gemini reading that energy is here for some of you all that it was okay for you to love okay this person's crazy kook that those of you are dealing with that and this person's worthy of jail because they've done some lying and cheating and they think they're still in some something with somebody that and, and they're not and somebody's moved on and they've just been overbearing and they've done some nasty uh for some of you all and so somebody was segregated and then used for their stuff because of some stupid kook then that's what's showing but we do have a commitment though for those of you who aren't dealing with the cuckoo stuff and somebody's just feeling like they, they're just trying to revise some type of a plan of something here we have the queen of pentacles and we have people coming up we have two queens and um a knight and we have the head, the boss, the, the man, the chief is something here with the letter R, or the firstborn is here with you all, or you're dealing with feminine energies uh, around you and work situations and uh, being fruitful. Uh, if the queen of pentacles is not in the upright, people, this is a jealous piece of crap and stubborn and all of that, okay? And they've done something because of jealous issues, because fire will also be jealous and get up and do some stuff as well. Um, but if this isn't positive and somebody's just feeling guilty about something from the past, then somebody wanted to come back around and renew something, then that's beautiful. There's, there's some type of a commitment here uh, with somebody going on in your reading. Show me Pisces. I really just, or excuse me. <laughs> Show me, uh, maybe you're dealing with Pisces. Show me uh, Scorpio energies. I'm just feeling weird right now. Just really feeling weird. Uh, something's over. The world card is also a boss card as well. This is travel situations. It's the teeth. If, if teeth uh, are prevalent to somebody, then I guess it is. This is about wisdom and knowledge and something something's over or something did in and now it's trying to come back up because of some type of a lie that somebody got in or maybe they lied to themselves about something here. Show me Scorpio energy. Well, there is there is law here around somebody and uh, there is the Empress coming up here. We got a lot of feminine energy coming up in your reading. Um, and then the Eight of Swords just appeared in the uh, Libra reading. I want to say it appeared somebody else as well in somebody else's reading. So the Empress is beautiful. We've got the upper and the lower version of the Empress showing up here in your reading. Actually, we got three like Empress energies that can be related back to that card. And there's law because the Empress is the legal scales of justice. There's money here. We got the R and the G here and the L is here. Um, we have a leg and we have movement within something. Um, 
I'm just going to bring it out because it did come out in the Gemini reading. If somebody is involved in music, there's a stringed instrument here. There's a harp. I got harp playing on the background. Uh, but anyway, for confirmation, I guess. Uh, there, there's something going on here with a lot of people. Somebody's um, going to go to jail for money stuff because somebody's a kook and crazy and they're they're cross weight in the freaking head. They lost their love of mind. They, they talk to the dead. I guess uh, in negative way, they're, they're doing things that are d dead. Okay, somebody is guilty of ch child sacrifice and murder, and somebody hit somebody off to do some nasty people. They just did, and let Jehovah just speak on, because he already knows it. He's, he's really just cracking down on these people, and um, whatever. There's a bruise here. Well, somebody also was um, being beaten. And stuff like that. There was abuse going on. This energy and the negative would take you to abuse. Or maybe your boss is abusive. Or there's something with the law here that's caused somebody to have to come in because of some type of abuse. Obviously, if children sacrificing is being judged, that's abusive crap. So somebody is decaying by water. And you're going to pay for that. Whoever did it. Because it's already known about uh, Jehovah says, this too shall pass. There's a clamp here or something to do or with a couple of clamps. And somebody's foot's going to be taken in a clamp because they're going to go to prison for what they did. For killing somebody's child. Uh, yes, this is binding together and, and things like that. And I made a reference to that in the Libra reading. I think that I said say there's going to be fetters on somebody's feet. Uh, yes, there's money that's been involved, and money is going to be coming back to the person that it was stolen from. There's a housekeeper here. Well, let's take that housekeeper, those that did the dirty, and let's put a clamp around their feet, throw them in the water, and let them drown for what they've done as well. So we got your family member or my family member, something happened to my child that way, I'm sure. Or my, maybe my child did something like that, and they deserve to get uh, uh, persecuted as well. I don't care who you are. Jehovah is no respecter of person. If you're guilty, you're guilty. But you must take the true measures of the law and deal with it. Somebody took it in their own hands or got paid off or got blackmailed to go do something as well that was unethical even in their mind to go do such a thing, but because they, got, they went crazy. You're guilty. And I will see to it that you will go to prison for what you did and let you decay somewhere. The cashier is here and a runner. Ooh, I wonder who, and they also clean the house, right? Uh, letter R. Command the north, I do. I command the north, the south, the east, and the west gate in my city to be open so that the king of glory can come in and he's already here. He is judging a thing in this city. Organization is here. Yeah, there was an organization here. There's new clothes and, and somebody says, fix the problem. Well, Jehovah says to fix it. And somebody wouldn't fix it. They took matters in their own hands and they thieved and they lied and they did all that. They're nasty at their heart. They went freaking crazy. If y'all want to listen to a kook, 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 crazy person, then you're just as cuckoo. My God, I feel this energy. And I hope you feel my foot going down your freaking throat. Yeah, somebody was tied up and thrown by water or the sea or to drown or something like that. And uh, the child is here. A child is here. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Somebody's childish and immature and crazy in their head. And somebody's ex is that way. Or you're dealing with the fisher. Somebody's feeling weighed down. There's the door and the key. Oh, did somebody come in and mess with somebody's carpet and stain it all up and all that kind of stuff? Probably. Uh, probably. It was uh, involved in it. It's, it's known. Stupid things known. You're doing somebody also in the in spotlight and all that kind of stuff. The garden is here and people coupling up and doing little short trips and all that kind of stuff. And there's a lot of fish and there's a lot of money. And uh, you're nothing but a big fat ditch is what you are. You're, you stink. You're nasty. You need to be going and 
decay by the water, like I said. Uh, people need to tie you up and beat you in your freaking head. Your head needs to be taken off. Whatever you did, let it come right back up on you. Let the King of Glory come in and judge all of you.